everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. Katie has the evening off. What is known as middle housing in College Station could soon be expanding in some neighborhoods. The city's planning and zoning commission met tonight to talk about a possible rezoning of two specific areas. News three's Anna Maynard was at that meeting this evening. She's now in studio with more on what that group decided. Anna. Rusty, the Planning and Zoning Commission made its official recommendation for council to rezone two areas for middle housing. One is along Park Place and Boardwalk Court. The other is at Turner Street and Gilbert Street. It's all part of an ongoing plan from the city to expand access to affordable housing while accommodating fast growth. Areas zoned for middle housing, like townhomes and duplexes, act as a buffer between dense apartments and single family areas. You have this, this semblance of uh, being around this, uh, the university and, and the student housing. At the same time, you have single family and multifamily. If council approves the rezoning request, both areas would be designated as middle housing with a high occupancy overlay. A high occupancy overlay would allow occupancy levels past the no more than four standard. We're trying to see uh, that the occupancy is, is maintained in a, in a certain lawful manner and uh, there's not uh, any hindrance to uh, a flow of traffic. But the land along Park Place could receive an additional zoning designation, natural areas protected. Uh, for the flood, floodplain area along the back portion of a few properties. This would allow for nature conservation, and it means that area isn't likely to undergo intensive development in the future. A certain part of, uh, of uh, development is also uh, dedicated to the greens, and we're trying to maintain certain uh, uh, semblance of uh, uh, environmental uh, at the same time. The commission's recommendation to approve the request now heads off to city council for final approval. They'll take that vote in September. Live in the News Center, Anna Maynard, News 3.